It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Philadelphia Eagles. And it kicks off next on Madden NFL 24. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. You <laughs> know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? offense getting set for their first drive as we take a peek at the Oklahoma State product their quarterback Mason Rudolph and when Mason Rudolph is on the field sometimes the scouting reports have to be revised a little bit because often quarterbacks like to throw short to get a rhythm for Mason Rudolph he loves the deep fade and he loves the deep post pattern anything over the top those are his favorite shots downfield and that's what gets him comfortable Throwing right away is Rudolph. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryer move. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. That's a good start to the ball game. Maybe a little bit of a tone setter offensively. They come out throwing right away, and it's an early completion and a quick first down. Uh, first carry for Najee Harris, and he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. here as he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. A tough spot here, third and 15. Rudolph now to throw. That's complete to his tight end fire move. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line, and that is not near enough. Their opening drive here is going to result in a punt. They got seven yards there, but not enough. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. 
Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Cole Holcomb proven too much there for the offensive line. He gets the sack. Okay, partner, a couple points of interest right here, all right? Offensively, we see that they came out throwing the football, but maybe more importantly, the blitz that came defensively, they got right after him. And you were telling me pregame before we came on air, you think this is something we could see a lot. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because this is a unit that wants to play the game on their terms. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. The back deep for the Steelers is Calvin Austin. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. On first down, Rudolph. That's caught, Allen Robinson. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. First down, Pittsburgh. We're scoreless after one. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Rudolph looking to throw it. Pass complete. George Pickens with it. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. Finding Pickens for another catch. And in for the Steelers' touchdown. George Pickens, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, we had the scoreless first quarter of play. We sure didn't have to wait long into the second quarter to get some action on the scoreboard. So was the first quarter a feeling out process? I mean, that was an interesting quarter, wasn't it? Because we had some action. We had some good play. Just didn't have any points. So now it's game on. 
Boswell good with the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was finished off by a George Pickens touchdown grab. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to spring together a nice drive and help themselves out. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave them with a second and just a few inches left. Was that a design pass or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he's up to the 40-yard line. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way. Work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner? Safety? Linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. He was unable to shake free there. and They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. But looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. On second down, Swift, and he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Hurt sets up to throw it. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Out now is the punter, Braden Mann. Here's Austin. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And that will come the offense as they take over. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Setting up the screen, Harris. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game, but I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them, maybe to slow the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it downfield. Rudolph looking to throw, and it's incomplete. Well, prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game, so on a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried his dress rehearsal into the game. You know, because you do practice it, you do go through it, and in this case, it is clicking exactly like they drew it up. Throwing on third down, here's Rudolph. Here's one deep for Pickens. 
going to be knocked away and incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. Fielded at the 20. So they had a 56 yard punt with a 14 yard return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing his hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. But first down, Hurts. This is Smith with a grab. Well, he is out of bounds inside the 35. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Well, if you like the matchup, and that connection works to start the drive, no reason to go away from it. Let that defense prove that they can stop you. And here, it's two throws and two first downs. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. That's to the speedster, Alameda Zacchaeus. Will go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He'll get this off to Swift. That is brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. So give him two yards there on the completion. And it'll be fourth down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This from 44 yards out, left hash. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Okay, Coach. Yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far.
It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. On oh, the return, Boston Scott. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Third quarter starts with a run from Swift. And he's got Rome. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Those are the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half, but a good start to the third quarter. And I know what everyone's thinking that's watching this. They did a great job adjusting at the half. Oftentimes, you don't make adjustments. You just dial into your game plan a little bit better, and maybe they're starting to make some headway. First down, and they go with Swift again. Gets past one man. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another first down this time on a gain of 19. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. On first and 10, it's Swift. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. From the 29, here's second down and two. On oh, the option to give to Swift here. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. They go play action with Hertz. And that, oh, nearly picked off. Well, it would have been a great time for their first interception of the game. Instead, it's second down. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Second down, here's Hurts. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. A two-yard pickup makes it third and eight. Back to throw here. Being chased out left. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Oh, man. Just when the D thought they had the answer for him, he went and changed the question. Surprises him by taking off himself. He's able to set up his offense pretty with a first and goal. From the gun, it's Hurts. And that's going to be caught by an Eagles touchdown. Jordan Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway, and there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. Elliott good on the extra point. And the lead is now 10-7. So that guy takes him down the field in eight plays, and it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown.
after the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Time for the Steelers offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Second and ten now. Third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Harris running straight ahead. And he can muster only a couple here to the 24. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It reads like it because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Here now a third down at eight. Now it's Rudolph. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go out near midfield. 49. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. Three corners in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They work now on second and nine. From the 50, it's Rudolph. Finds Pickens out right. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 31-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. On first and ten, Rudolph. And that one too wide and incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could do your chances of a comeback. So it's the right call there to just throw that one away. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Here's Rudolph. Completes this one to Pickens. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Simple drag right here. Lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Now Rudolph. And he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Coaches tell us all the time how a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Boswell's kick is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, we knew this had the potential to be a tight game, but with less than three minutes to play, couldn't be any tighter. We're all tied. All locked up, right? And this next drive is going to tell us everything we need to know about this game because I want to see how they come out with the football. Are they going to be aggressive and attack downfield? You still got the two-minute warning to come up? Or are they going to be conservative and try and hold on and maybe just get to overtime?
Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time, but it's going to be second down. Hurts. Three timeouts plus the two minute warning. Here's first and 10. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's got this up to the 45 yard line. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. They'll come up first and 10 here. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Pass complete, got her. It drives some people crazy to see their short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. They'll come up now on second down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he's going to get this down to the 45-yard line. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Plenty of time left, plus all three timeouts. Here's first and 10. Hurts sets up to throw it. Complete to Zacchaeus. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. Second and six coming up. Swift going to try up the middle. And he gets it down to the 32. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and 10 now. Once again, it's Swift. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Here's second down. This is Swift on the counter. And this time he won't even make it back to the line of scrimmage as they stop him in his tracks. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. A big play needed, no doubt. Third and long. They run out of the gun with Swift. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 
with 17. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. Right now, everything Jake resting on the right field. foot of Jake Elliott. He made his only attempt earlier. This for the win. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. From the left hash, this for the win. And his kick here is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And you know, in an era of cost cutting and maximizing your roster, this is a club that does not skimp on special teams. And in these situations, it pays dividends. And that's great vision by the organization. When the difference between winning or losing depends on who you have kicking the ball, would you rather have a street free agent out there or a solid pro like this? Answer's pretty evident to me. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. This is first and 10. One last throw here for Rudolph. He's got this to Pickens. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It was a long shot, but they did get one final chance to try to score and overcome this small deficit. No touchdown, though, Charles. And that brings this one to a close. Yeah, I think Hope was wearing one jersey, and Worry was wearing another on the other side on his final snap played out. Now, we've seen some incredible plays to win games before, but in this case, I think the distance is just a little bit too great for it to happen here. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis, and all our hard work.